Alright, today I'm using Yak Brothers Fishing. And they're these little creature baits, kind of like a craw, frog looking thing. And uh, I'm just going to put it on a regular little jig head. Like that. There we go. Oh, come on. That's the most frustrating thing in the world when you see it, grab it, and then you go to set the hook, and he's not even, doesn't even have it. That's gonna be hard to get down to. Whoa. It's got potential. really shallow right here but it comes to a point and then it gets deep. There we go. Took a little one but I got him. Oh and he slipped off right here. Oh, come on. There's another bite. Getting plenty of bites, but no hook sets. I had that one, but he slipped off because I decided to change my camera angle. There we go. That's a, oh, it took forever. Just a little one that they fought, like pretty good size ones. These are quads. That's what I love about Guadalupe bass is how hard they fight. Okay, this one I'm gonna have to uh, crimp off the barb so I don't take his eye out. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. There we go. You should be all right. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. Pulled it right off the hook. All right, I'm still using the uh, Yak Bros Craw trailer, chunk it craw. But I'm, if you, as you can see, I've hooked it funny. I've hooked it through the side, I've hooked it sideways, Texas rig kind of, where the hook's kind of just floating free in the tail there. And I'm actually using it like a swim bait. And I had to turn my camera off for a little while there and charge it. And of course, while my camera was charging, I caught a pretty good sized guad, Guadalupe bass, it was about a pound. Guadalupe bass don't get very big, so a pound on those is pretty good. The world record on that is like three pounds. So hopefully, maybe now that I got my camera back and charged up, I can catch one and show you that it actually, that it actually worked. And I don't know if you can see the movement on this thing, but it's got swim bait movement. It works. It's, it's actually kind of like a banjo minnow. It goes back and forth. It looks like a tadpole, really, but two tails. And it, it's, it's working. I've had a handful of bites on it, and I landed that one big wad there. So maybe I can get another one. Oh, I just had one take it, but he missed the hook. I hope I'm recording. It's another bass. 
Another glad. Oh wow, this one's got one of my Senkos in his mouth. That is crazy. Am I recording this? Yes, I'm recording. This one, not only does this one have, did I just catch this one on this, but he's got one of my Senkos in his mouth from earlier. No hook. He, this is the one that pulled it off the hook earlier. That is hilarious. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. I got my Senko back. And I don't think I've ever caught the same fish twice in one day. Even though I technically didn't catch him that first time. Alright, that last bass I caught was on Mr. Twister 5-inch Pocket Phenom. In blue.